Virtual machine disk provisioning has historically caused various storage bottlenecks. Placing virtual machines is a complex process. In-depth knowledge of the performance of the storage system, the current workload, and the growth rate of the virtual machine disk files are required to find an optimal data store for a new virtual machine. And because monitoring data store capacity and I.O. load is a complex process, it is often neglected and leads to I.O. load imbalance, application downtime, and other operational inefficiencies that can increase IT costs and negatively impact business performance. Each time an administrator wishes to add a new virtual machine, the challenge is repeated. An admin must manually search for a data store with enough space and I.O. capacity to run a new virtual machine. Predicting disk space utilization and I.O. latency can be unreliable and often leads to system downtime. Storage DRS, a new feature in VMware vSphere 5, reduces the time and complexity of provisioning virtual machines by aggregating data stores into a single pool, called a data store cluster. A data store cluster enables smart and rapid placement of new virtual machines and virtual machine disks. Storage DRS analyzes disk space utilization and I.O. latency and finds the data store with the capacity to host a new virtual machine. This eliminates the guesswork and manual effort in provisioning virtual machines. Storage DRS determines the space or latency imbalance levels of the data store cluster and migrates one or multiple virtual machine disk files to solve the data store cluster imbalance. Storage DRS uses virtual machine statistics and data store utilization to understand the impact of virtual machine placement on the space or I.O. utilization of a data store. The I.O. latency threshold determines the maximum acceptable I.O. load on the data store. This threshold is set by default to 15 milliseconds and can be set to any value between 5 and 100 milliseconds. The utilized space threshold determines the maximum acceptable capacity loading of the data store. This threshold is set by default to 80% and can be set to any value between 50 and 100%. Storage DRS will do a cost-benefit analysis if a threshold is exceeded and will only make a storage vMotion recommendation if the migration achieves an acceptable improvement in disk space or performance. When set in automated mode, Storage DRS automatically migrates virtual machine disks whenever the thresholds are exceeded. In manual mode, the admin must confirm migration recommendations Storage DRS provides when the thresholds are exceeded, offering the administrator an additional level of control. Storage DRS Maintenance Mode evacuates all virtual machine disk files, moving them to other data stores in the data store cluster, while ensuring that space load is balanced across remaining data stores. Storage DRS applies smart placement rules. These smart placement rules, called affinity rules, help in avoiding placing VMs with a similar task on the same data store, or they can help in keeping virtual machines together when required. By default, Storage DRS applies an intra-VM affinity rule to all new virtual machines in the data store cluster. The affinity rule keeps the virtual machine files co-located on one data store, which enables easy troubleshooting. However, virtual machines can be optionally distributed across data stores. The VMDK anti-affinity rule keeps the virtual machine disk file of the virtual machine on different data stores. Storage DRS offers a VM to VM anti-affinity rule as well, keeping the virtual machine disk file of multiple virtual machines on different data stores and maximizing the availability of a set of redundant VMs. VMware Storage DRS allows admins to more strategically manage their IT infrastructure by reducing IT costs and improving agility with rapid and simpler provisioning, balancing storage space and I.O. loads, improving application performance by avoiding storage resource bottlenecks. Learn more about virtual technology and VMware solutions by exploring VMware.com.